In today's video, I'm going to share the truth about getting under 10% body fat. This is in response to a great discussion I was having with John on a recent video where I was talking about the ideal rate of weight loss being between 0.5 and 1% of your total body weight per week if you want to make sure that you are preserving muscle mass throughout the process. And John was curious what I would estimate my body fat percentage at right now. And he wanted to know if I noticed that when I start getting below 12% body fat, if I find it more difficult to lose 1% of my total body weight per week. Uh, and he was sharing his own personal experiences of the cutting phase that he's going through right now. Uh, mentioning that he's like deeper into this cutting phase probably about the last five to eight pounds that he needs to lose and he is struggling to lose that one percent of total body weight per week and he's really hoping that he's going to be able to lose 0.5 percent of his total body weight before he reaches that point of getting burnt out now the truth about getting under 10 percent body fat is that we really suck at guessing what our body fat percentage is now i mentioned that i'd guess i'm somewhere around 12 percent body fat right now based on my past experiences and seeing other guys who are under 10% body fat, like truly under 10% body fat. Uh, and he said that as being a bit modest there, he put me at between nine and 10%. Uh, again, it's just a guess. I, I blame the inaccuracies really on all the different measuring tools that we have out there. Now, I just joined a new gym and part of the, the perks of joining this gym is that you get uh, free in-body scan. So I did it for shits and giggles and it measured me at 7.4% body fat, which is an absolute joke. I am at the end of a 13 month muscle building phase where I have been gaining weight and body fat at a slow, steady, consistent rate throughout that entire process. Now, if I'm at 7.4% body fat right now, when I was at the beginning of this muscle building phase, the picture you can see here, that put me below 5% body fat, which is absolutely ridiculous. Yes, I was lean as fuck. My abs were looking very detailed, but nowhere near um, how lean I was when I was competing in bodybuilding. And even when I was competing in bodybuilding, I didn't even get lean enough where you would see striated glutes. I mean, I was really freaking lean, but not what I'm seeing with some of these guys right now. For example, um, Peter Fitchin just shared one of his clients uh, leading up to his contest there. Like you can see how freaking grainy their physique is. Like just all the details. You can see like the muscle fibers in there. Not only are they crazy vascular, but you just see like skin tight, just hardly any fat on them at all. I got Alberto Nunez again, like freaking crazy grainy ab veins crawling up all the way up to like the sternum there. Like not just on the, the, the pelvic full, like below the belly button, seeing those ab veins, like ab veins crawling all the way up your abs, your full six pack there. Um, it's just absolutely ridiculous when you get that lean. And that's about, that's what is what 5% body fat looks like. So nowhere, I was nowhere near that level of leanness at the beginning of this muscle building phase. So at the end of my last mini cut, so I am definitely nowhere near 7.4% body fat right now. Uh, now at the end of a mini cut I did two years ago, I got a 3D body scan done that measured me at 7.6% body fat. Again, I don't think I was 7.6% body fat at that point because again, I would have had a lot more weight to lose in order to get stage shredded, to see the ab veins crawling around. Like right now where I'm at right now, like minimum eight weeks to get to that kind of level of leanness, like 5% body fat, minimum eight weeks. I'd say more like 12 weeks if I wanna take a smart approach to get there. So definitely I am not under 10% body fat right now. I'm lean. I'm like looking really good. I've got a great beach body right now. I'm in my sweet spot. So when I return from the Arnold Classic next week, I'm gonna begin a, probably gonna be about a four week mini cut, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, and I know for sure, like, I'm gonna have no problem losing 1% body fat, 1% of my total body weight per week. Actually, I probably aim just a little under that. I weigh about 148 pounds, 149 pounds right now. Um, so I'm going to go with what has worked for me, my mini cuts in the past few years here, 2000 calories a day consistently throughout that mini cut, uh, which is about a 700 calorie deficit for me. I'm 47 years young, about five foot, almost five foot seven there. And like I said, 148, 149 pounds. So, and I'm like super active. So my maintenance level calories is around 2,700. So consuming 2000 calories per day, I guarantee I'm going to lose about 1.4 pounds 
per week going through that process there. It's been tried and true for me in the years past. I'm not noticing any kind of difference in my metabolism or anything right now. So I'm expecting when I get down to that, it's, um, it's going to be, um, well, looking forward to it. It's going to be pretty smooth and consistent throughout. That's me. That's where I'm at right now. My lifestyle is in check. It's dialed in. I get eight and a half hours of sleep just about every single night. My stress, I mean, I face stress like everybody else, but I manage it really well. I'm really good at just letting shit go um, and just focusing on what I can control. I don't dwell on problems. I immediately get to focusing on solutions um, so I can move myself forward. My diet is dialed in. I mean, I enjoy my favorite treats. I don't restrict myself. If I want to have um, one of my favorite treats, I'm going to have it and I'll work it into my calorie target for the day. But I do know that I thrive from consuming whole natural nutrient rich foods. So again, uh, based on getting back to the body fat percentage, like knowing that we suck at guessing what our body fat percentage is, I would not chase numbers. I wouldn't be aiming for a certain body fat percentage. Like I'm going to stop my cutting phase when I hit 8% body fat, right? Like I would not be aiming for that. I mean, I see guys in the gym, again, when you talk about the inaccuracies there, some of the younger bros in the gym, they'll grab one of the handheld um, body fat percentage things. It'll show them at 4%. I'll see guys who just step off stage and step on a, a body fat scale and it measures them at 11% body fat. So they suck. Don't go based on those numbers. Go for the look that you want to achieve. For myself personally, I just want to have, the reason I'm going to go through this mini cut right now is I just want to my abs be a little bit crisp, crisper for beach season here. And it's going to be my new starting point again, where I'm going to embark on another 12 to 13 month muscle building phase afterwards. Just repeat the process that, uh, that I've been going through here and just staying in my sweet spot where I thrive. So don't go for the number, go for the look that allows you to feel your best, perform your best, thrive in all aspects of your life. So John, if you're like at this point right now where you're feeling your body is pushing back, it's a, there's a reason for that. It's trying to tell you something like it doesn't want to be that lean. And unless you have a big goal that you want to aim for, like stepping on stage or maybe doing a photo shoot, just achieving some peak temporarily, can maybe push through it. But if you are like on the brink of feeling burnt out, I mean, it's just it's not worth it to try to get that lean. I would immediately get myself back up to maintenance level calorie and start feeling my best uh, and really living my life to the fullest. It's not worth it to try to get under 10% body fat just for the sake of aiming for a number. This lifestyle should be a healthy lifestyle where it's promoting you living your life to the fullest with confidence, pride, zest, and vitality is absolutely key. You want to be thriving in all aspects of life. That's my two cents here. It's the biggest reason why I likely will never compete again. And like how I looked again here at the beginning of this muscle building phase at the end of the last cutting phase, like that's as lean as I ever want to get. I can't even guess what my body fat percentage is there around 10%, maybe a little bit under 10% body fat. Uh, but again, that was a starting point and then I built up from there. It wasn't something that I maintained. It just was, I knew at the, the, the lower end of my sweet spot, if I start getting below that level of leanness, I know that is when I'm gonna be start, my body will start to push back a little bit like you, John. It will, I will start to experience some of the negative side effects that come with being under 10% body, like true under 10% body fat. And that is the truth about being under 10% body fat is that most people don't feel good when they stay under 10% body fat as a natural. That's, that's the other key thing. I am a lifetime natural. Um, me staying under a true 10% body fat would not feel good to me. So I just know where I feel my best, perform my best. My strength is high. My performance is high. My libido is high. I just have an incredible zest for life. That's where I want to stay. It's not worth it to me to push it beyond that point um, where I'm not going to feel my best. So that's my two cents. I hope you guys have gained value from this. Uh, I would love to hear your experiences here. Are you measuring your body fat? Are you chasing numbers? Or are you just chasing a look? And more important, how you feel at certain looks? Do you know where your sweet spot is at? So again, I would love for us to do away with the numbers, stop chasing after certain body fat numbers, and start chasing us 
feeling our best, thriving in all aspects of life. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. But more than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback on today's topic. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.